So uh, there's a there's an icebreaker currently in the uh, in the HackMD. So if you want to go there and and put some information to us on what kind of applications and um, programming languages you use. That would be helpful or nice to start the discussion. Yeah. So let's see. Here's our. Okay. My volume key. seems to be low. Uh, I fixed it on my side. Okay. Yeah. Did... Okay, the lawnmower. It's strange that I I don't hear it, but maybe they. Yeah, can can tell. And uh, by the way, when when editing the HackMD, try to avoid the uh, extra lines between bullet points because that will like blow up the uh, the lines between the bullet points so that they won't fit to a screen. So if there's an empty empty space or empty line break between the bullet points, it will like become uh, a bit unreadable. Of course, like when uh, when there's like uh, fifty people editing at the same time, it's very easy to get. Uh, Somebody creates a new line and somebody creates a new line at the same time. So, so I just closed my window, so hopefully that lawnmower is not audible anymore but it's gonna get really hot in here. So yesterday I had the window open, but with sun coming in and a computer doing all this encoding for recording and streaming and all that, it got, it got hot. Oh. Yeah, right. I closed my window, so hopefully the lawnmower is not audible anymore but the room i'm in got really hot yesterday with all my processors going to encoding the stream both recording and streaming and all that it was i was sweating at the end of the day and not here, just from the stress of teaching here here at my place it's uh, already starting to be like 29 degrees inside, so <laughs> I'll, I'll join the club. Yeah. Um, so I'll see you. Uh, can... Go ahead. Yeah, just a quick mention about the audio things. If you can hear my my ASMR uh, keyboard on, on the background, then uh, let us know as well. Maybe I can move, move the microphone a bit or something yeah. if, it's, if, if it becomes uh, annoying during the exercises. Yeah. Also, you can give us continued feedback from day one. Maybe not everyone saw it before, but um, like what went, what went well, what, like did the format work okay? Today will be very different, almost like a different course because we're much more hands-on and less pre-planned and following the audience, but well, we'll just take it as it comes. And so, there's also going to be uh, like a, or oh, there is a playlist already. Uh, Richard made a lot of work. Oh right, yeah. During the a uh, lot of work during the evening to to already start our uh, playlist on on this this course. So so this right. YouTube playlist. I'll put the link to the HPC or the or to the HackMD on this. So if you missed anything, if you want to rewatch something. Uh, then you can check the uh, the yesterday's yesterday's videos. Yeah. So um, yes. Hmm. Are there any other important notes? I guess the most important thing about today is it's all really hands on. So we'll be on the cluster doing things, and there'll be. 
Well, now is when we really get these different strategies. So some people will try to follow along and do everything at the same time we're doing it. Some might just watch back and um, or sit back and watch and then try to follow along later. They're all OK. Yes, and uh, yesterday the, the Zoom call, the, uh, the Zoom call for the uh, exercises and, and uh, help, helpers that was a pretty much a graveyard shift because we had so much uh, like uh, like this kind of uh, introductory talks talks and less hands-on stuff. But today we are going to have like pauses. Uh, the instructors in the Zoom call are going to let us know whenever there's uh, time needed for the exercises, uh, more t if if there's more time needed for the ex exercises, and we'll try to uh, be quiet more quiet here in the in the call so that you can focus on the exercises in the in the training call there so, and and of course like if you encounter some problems or something we might address it here in the stream as well but uh, but so so the today uh, hopefully in the zoom call or most likely in the zoom call there's going to be a lot more discussion and i also can uh, recommend that if you have like a group of people at the same research group or something uh, go uh, like you can you can go to, into a breakout room in the zoom call and and like have a discussion among yourself among yourselves and help you help each other and and basically like uh work work next to you uh in the in the classroom like uh, in, during the physical times we used to have that people next to next to each other would uh would collaborate with the exercise and try to help each other with the exercise and do the exercise uh, but but of course in the COVID times, we have to do it remotely, so the breakout rooms are the next best best option. So if you uh, if you have a, have a people you already know, that's probably the easiest way to get into a breakout room. If you don't know people, you can always uh, try to form uh, emergent groups or something. But um, yeah, try to try to uh, discuss in the HackMD and with your each other in the Zoom room, uh, so that the exercises well you don't you're not yeah. left alone uh, solving them mm -hmm. yeah someone just asked me to remind everyone in the zoom meetings to change your name to include your affiliation such as well i guess look at the other participants and you'll see what it's like but parentheses alto and then your name so this will help when assigning people to breakout rooms or to um when answering questions there. OK, so it's noon now. Um, let's see, what's our schedule? Yeah, so. I'll, OK, Simo, we see your screen. Yeah, so today, uh, like, uh, I, I have this analogy for today's, uh, today's uh, curriculum. And basically, it's, it's like this kind of a situation. If you've ever been to a, a Finnish cottage, or if you have rented a Finnish cottage, when you go there, you, you take all of your stuff with you, your food and and your elements and stuff like that. You go to a Finnish cottage. Uh, you don't immediately start to warm up the sauna when you arrive there. Yeah, you first have to like look where the firewood is. You have to look where the coals are if you want to uh, put the barbecue on, and you have to like put stuff into places and stuff like that. So today is that, that kind of a day. Hopefully we get like when the evening starts mm -hmm. to come, uh, we we get the sauna warmed up so that tomorrow uh, is the like the bad paiva in <laughs> so the main day uh, that we can get uh, lots of stuff done. But today, like we arriving at the cottage, yesterday we knew about what what's what to expect, and now we are getting accustomed to the environment. So so basically we are checking the premises, and uh, the first. Uh, step of course is that we we will uh, connect to triton or, or the hpc cluster of your choice so so we'll arrive there uh, after that we will look into like um what kind of applications we have and how to how to ask for more applications how to how to look into the documentation that we have pre uh, set for you and then after that we will look more closely into how do you actually load the applications 
uh, where should you store your data because most likely your code will produce data or you will need some initial data for for the code uh, then then we'll have a, a short talk by Radovan Bast from the Arctic University of Norway uh, uh, like about uh, how how you, you one should go about asking quest questions when you have questions uh, regarding supercomputers how to create tickets and so forth this is really important because uh, that that is usually very good uh, well that's important uh, so that you can uh, get the most out of the system you need to be able to ask the right questions and at the end uh, we'll try to do interactive jobs and if we have time some serial jobs but basically actually running something so today we are checking the premises and hopefully we get the sauna started at the end of the day yeah I like that analogy. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got it yesterday evening. Yeah. yeah. And today will be especially a relatively chaotic day because we have a plan in the schedule, but don't expect us to actually do what's written there. It's going to be quite different as we adapt to what you ask for. So just be prepared for that. And don't think that we're going off schedule because well what's it if we adapt the quote scheduling is essential schedules are useless or something like that that's especially true today okay so did we have any other introductory words from things so these one thing oh. one thing we might have is a quick quick poll if somebody in the HackMD uh, wants to set it up a quick poll on uh, have you already managed to connect to to the systems or okay. are you still like yesterday we had this uh, at the end of the talks we had this uh, well helping session where we try to help get everybody connected so that anybody who had problems connecting uh, was there uh, but of course like some of you might have uh, forgotten it uh, forgotten the lessons or might have uh, had to leave early or something like that so uh let's have a quick poll on on whether you have already managed to connect and we can uh, elaborate on the connection yeah so most people are saying yes there's one no um so maybe i guess also today um it will be very much, well, like maybe Simo. So instead of trying to lecture so much, we can try to be faster in what we say based on the material and then spend more time discussing questions from the HackMD um, since people Sounds can read good. the material later and maybe we get more value of that. But I guess we'll just wait and see. See how it goes. Um, Let's see, so hmm. there were another few introductory talks. Uh, so there's one question, is this going to be about Triton or other clusters? So the tutorials we're showing are based on Triton, but we've gone through and it was last summer, we tried to adapt them so they would be somewhat suitable to all of the clusters in Finland. Now, there will be differences, for example, in the different um, names of like modules that you might load or partition names or things like that. But well, our main point is to explain to you the big concepts and then you can, um, once you know that, you can read your own material and then adapt to it as you'd like. Yes, yeah, like... Uh... It's, uh, it's like this kind of a joke that has been said, like a, a lawyer in a, in a courtroom asks you to describe the situation in your own words. You're going to still be using the same words as uh, everybody else. You're not going to invent your own words. So, so uh, in the same, same idea, all the clusters are basically the same. Like they might be a bit <laughs> different in, the, in like if you go to US, if you go to Germany, if you go to Japan, they might be a bit different. Uh, uh, changes, uh, but basically all of them work on the same premises. So you have you usually connect to them via SSH, 
uh, you usually have these modules that we're going to be talking about uh, enabled to use software. You're going to have a queue system, like this kind of uh, shared stuff is applicable to all clusters. So some of the examples, uh, like Richard mentioned, they are, uh, well, they might work best in, in our system, but, but the basic idea is better to get hold of the basic idea because that's the same, that, that is same on all kinds of systems. Yeah. Okay, so mm, I guess let's talk about is there any other intro stuff or should we move to the connection segment?